Hey everybody, welcome to uh, another quick unboxing video I decided to do here on uh, Aqua Classics. I'm Paul, and today I got actually something pretty darn exciting. Um, I was recently asked if I'd like to participate in the Terrible Fire 4060 beta program. So what we've got in here is the new Terrible Fire 4060 beta hardware just delivered from Canada, thanks to Alan Marks. Uh, he's the official builder here in North America for these. This is a limited release, uh, followed in a couple of months, they'll be offered for sale. And again, I just, just wanna remind everybody, this is beta hardware. It is still early, but it's gonna be released very soon. And you know, things are subject to change. I just wanted to mention that. Let's go ahead and open this up, see what we've got inside here. Again, Alan sent this out from Canada. Just a couple of days of quick shipping. Super, super fast shipping. And I wanna thank Alan for, for that. But uh, yeah, this is, I'm pretty excited about, about offering this. So what is this? This is actually going to be a 68060 processor board from Terrible Fire, much like the Terrible Fire 1260 board that they did and look at that beautiful purple color board there pretty pretty exciting so already right off the bat we got something different here and again as you can see this has onboard IDE I'm told that the first iteration of this IDE is going to be pretty much the same that is in the terrible fire 1260 boards the nice thing about this is with the FPGA that's on board this we're going to be able to have that in boot ROM. So no more of the terrible having to load drivers up, get them done, can't boot off of the board because it needs to have a custom kickstart ROM with the driver built into it. This is all going to be inside this board ready to go from the start. So that'll be super nice. Another pretty cool thing that you can see here is we have this header right here. And what is that going to be for? Well, let me go ahead and pull out this here and give you a little example of it. You'll be able to put on board here a Raspberry Pi. So we'll be able to attach it on here and be able to get it to go. And this will allow you to do updates remotely and stuff like that of the firmware on board without having to disassemble your Amiga and hook up things on here to, to do it the way you have to do for the other machines. Um, unfortunately, this one isn't quite wired up right yet, so I'm going to have to look more into that and check it out, but we'll, we'll show that as the time goes on. Again, this is just a quick unboxing video that I wanted to show you, just to give you a little view of what this is going to look like. You've got your space here, for obviously, for 68060, which we'll be throwing that on here soon. Super nice looking board. This is going to have onboard memory. It's going to have, again, like I said, onboard IDE and super, super fast memory access. So just a quick little demo of what it's going to look like. Uh, probably this weekend I'll do some testing on board my uh, 3000, my 3000 uh, Re Amiga probably work on my 4000 tower and of course one of my 4000 remake boards that I do and see how everything is. The goal of this is to get this tested on as many machines as possible and hopefully we can get a quick interesting go so that when this does get released as final hardware to everybody it's trouble free and it'll be super fast and make everybody happy for it. I really think this is going to be worth the wait and I'm quite excited to, to get this thing running and, and going and see how things are going. But anyways, that's just a quick overview of, of the board, what to expect, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.